a paper cut, a finger jammed in the door, or even a prick of the thorn. These are all examples of when one might need to use a bandage. However, most commercial bandages are flawed in that they are prone to cause minor injuries and burns upon removal. This is directly correlated to the adhesive material used to create bandages. The general majority of bandages are made of latex. However, there are many people with an allergy to latex. Studies show that 8-12% to 12 of medical workers are allergic to latex. The commonality of latex in the medical field can cause a problem for those who have to work there. Many institutions do not use latex due to potential allergens and harm. School nurse Elizabeth Avery explains that... I think um, they've moved away from latex gloves altogether because of the allergies. I think the other gloves are probably a little bit more expensive, but I think most medical institutions, including doctor's offices, have pretty much moved away from that. Well, um, when I use anything with latex in it, like latex gloves or um, a latex band-aid, I get that hives on the area that is being functioned. And I can't really do anything to help that right away. So I'm, I'm pretty itchy and irritated for quite a while. In addition to problems in terms of material, bandages in themselves can cause injury upon the removal. The glue of the bandage, which is designed to stay on for as long as possible, can sometimes harm the skin. Dr. Simpiron is a naturopathic doctor working from Woodbury, Connecticut. Naturopathic medicine offers medical care with a focus on patient education and the use of natural and preventative diagnostics and therapeutics. Naturopathic physicians are Connecticut licensed doctors who provide patients with comprehensive naturopathic care. He is also fully aware of the harm that bandages can cause. If they are latex, the adhesive can cause reactions commonly. Also, they remove lots of skin layers when yanked off, which is painful for the patient, resulting in skin removal and hypersensitivity reactions, which can cause rashes, blistering, and even anaphylactic reactions. Instead of using potentially harmful latex bandages with the dangerous adhesives, using a natural alternative would be an optimal choice. The Bethel High School Academy class of 2015 has been doing so in order to solve the aforementioned problems by creating a new form of bandage that is completely nature inspired. As a result of our research, we chose to use rose petals as a bacteria resistant component and also use bamboo, which is a strong natural alternative to latex. Rose petals contain an element carfarnesol, which inhibits the anomalous growth of bacteria. Roses also contain flavonoids, which have been shown to be anti-inflammatory and antimicrobial. In addition, unlike latex bandages, rose petals being a natural substance give the wound the ability to ventilate and not seal the wound to fresh air. Hemeopathic remedies such as this are not without professional esteem. Dr. Zampiron not only uses it for his patients, but also on himself. In order to test the bacteria-resistant qualities of rose petals, we conducted an experiment to measure what form of rose petal would be most effective, which would be, of the three we tested, dried rose petal paste, fresh rose petal paste, or rose water. For our experiment, we are testing to see how different rose pastes and rose waters would deflect bacteria growth within petri dishes. We found that we liked the dried rose paste more because not only did it separate the bacteria from the dried rose paste, but it also killed bacteria. I think our country is attempted anyway to go green. And any way that you can, it's encouraged from recycling containers, from McDonald's to the whole spectrum. The Bethel Academy class of 2015 aims to create a better bandage.